It's a huge project that has people taking sides in one of Denver's oldest neighborhoods, redesigning the city park golf course. And that means removing hundreds of mature trees. As you would imagine, a lot of people are upset. Kelly Worthman at the course tonight. And Kelly, always sad to see our trees go, but a lot of people say there are some benefits here. Yeah, there were really some mixed reviews on the redesign plans that the public got a first-hand look at today here in the City Park uh, Clubhouse at the golf course here. But people also got an idea of how many trees are marked with yellow tags like this that are a notice of removal. But really, there are some people who are just frustrated that the city is moving forward with a project that has a pending lawsuit against it. For as many golfers that were outside enjoying the warm autumn evening, there were many inside the clubhouse learning what's to come for City Park Golf Course. I actually really like the design of the new course. As part of Denver's stormwater project, the park will be redesigned to also serve as a detention area, protecting nearby neighborhoods that are at high risk of flooding. Outside of major 100-year storms, the park will remain a dry, fully functioning course. It's going to be this great golf course that's much more interesting than it is now because of the integration of the stormwater and a wetlands channel. The $40 million project on the historic park has drawn sharp criticism, even a lawsuit against the city. It has nothing to do with preventing the flooding. It has to do with building the drainage infrastructure for I-70. Opponents are also frustrated with the number of trees that are marked for removal. And they're going to take down 262 trees. We did everything we could to keep as many trees as possible. Though the city says the plan integrated the public's concerns, some say pending litigation should put the entire plan on hold. Which is showing, in my opinion, a complete disrespect for our legal system by moving ahead before the judge says whether they can or they cannot. Now, if you have questions yourself or would like to take a closer look at the redesign plans, there is a second open house meeting happening this Saturday here at the clubhouse. We have more information on that as well as the plan for this entire project at CBSDenver.com. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Kelly, thank you.